Well, here it is. Uh, got started on our barn. Uh, actually, we're starting on the alleyway so we can start on the barn. We're gonna get material in at the end of the week and probably by next week we'll uh, we'll just we'll start having our post up on the barn. But I wanted to give do some videos on this so you guys could see what's going on. So I had some people asking me how I was gonna do it. And this way this way everyone can see it and from from us starting. I didn't film us clearing the sand out of here yesterday. But that wasn't really anything to see. But what we did decide to do is instead of taking this fence out first, we left it and we just moved this alleyway out two feet. So we're just gonna extend these pins just a little bit. Uh, brought a transect down here and ran some straight lines. So you can see this one is. Uh, so far I only have one post out of place, but that's okay because I've never seen a cow go in a straight line and that's kind of how it is. These are all three inch pipe, or actually three and a half inch, it's three inch ID. I've got two down there, uh, there'll be, there'll actually be four down there, but what that one is, is that is the alleyway going down this side of the barn and this one right here, these two, are the other way going down this side of the barn. We're not gonna put any anything in between, so the barn will be from here. I moved it these about 24 inches out on this side, down to there. So this is where our barn will uh, sit. We will have a gate that comes off our chute into here, into this alley, so we can store into these pins and it's just gonna make it pretty much a giant circle. But that way, we can pull cattle out of e uh, either pin of the barn and work them, you know, doctor them if we have to, whatever we need to. Um, as far as these pins go, what I'm gonna be doing with them is so we have our fence here, and here's our this is our line. So we're gonna put we're gonna put a gate in this fence here that will open back out. So as cattle come from the processing area, they can be sorted back into these holding pins individually. And then we will hang so we'll hang this gate off this side, and then in this alleyway here, we're gonna hang a gate here that will swing like this to there. And that way if you have anything coming back down this alley that you have to resort, you can shut this gate against there and dump them back into the pins. And so there'll be a, you know, a square box at each one of these with the overheads. And that's where, uh, that's where this, that's going to be. Um, I was gonna take my pivots apart and use them, but I'm just, I've got too much shit going on, so I just ordered the square tubing for the legs and I-beam for the roof, so it'll be just like my commodity barn. Um, but yeah, so my uh, barn's gonna be there, and so it'll, it'll go out from that post, it'll go out 70 feet that way, and the rest of this would just be a sorting alley, but that's kind of how that's going. We just started on it today, so it's not not a big thing yet. But uh, these, so that one's a little tall. Gonna have to cut it off. Uh, these posts are three feet in the ground, uh, two sacks of concrete, and they'll have two and three eighths uh, supporting pipes up top. So. Uh, they're pretty stout. They're actually, uh, they're doing, they're pretty stout. Uh, you can see on this one, this one's a solid joint. This one's a splice up here. 
So we have some like leftovers and stuff. If you'll on these ones we splice, we won't hang the gates off the splice one. But what we'll do is I can you can see it right here. I've got a gate here that's going to uh, dump cattle back in here, and it's going to hinge, say like that post, a 12 foot gate, and that way the overhead will come up and come across to this splice post, and um, you know it's just. It, they work just fine that way and you can use make your pipe go a lot further and then one right next to it this is for this gate because uh, we're gonna build a processing barn right here and this gates gonna open out like this so that one will come up and go over to that one for an overhead and yeah so that's that's how that's gonna work. Um, once we get our barn built, um, and see, we'll build this alleyway and then the barn, and then we'll take these pins down and go go that way, and just kind of tie it all together so we're not out of anything. And we've got cattle coming in all the time, so it's just better. Uh, it's better to do it this way than the way I was going to do it and just, you know, tear it all out and have this huge mess and have like a hay job come up or something or something silly happen and then it just kind of, uh, this one's actually my dad's idea, so a little bit smarter. That's a, it's a wisdom for you, but I uh, got our little skid steer here with their deal and I've been running the other one carrying pipe and concrete, but... Uh, hauled quite a bit of quite a bit of stand out of here, uh, about six inches up against the fence. But it'll be a 12, 12 foot sorting alley, so that that works really good. And I'm what I'm really excited for is I've never had one, but I've always wanted one. Is like a circular alleyway with sorting pins in the center, and so that way. You know, we have this this big pin, that pin, and like two more pins for like holding pins, if we have to. And we can just jam pack that alley full of cattle. You know, like cows if we're preg checking or whatever, teeth and run them through our processing barn or, you know, calves, things like that. And then they can come through here and go down this alleyway and get sorted either way. But, uh, pretty sure my phone's going to die, so I'm going to leave this here. And uh, we'll pick it up tomorrow because we're going to place some more posts tomorrow. This is going to be a several part <laughs> video. Just going to tie it all together. I really just came down here to pick up my pickup. But before we get ahead of ourselves, I want to show you this. Our line is slacked now. But um, so we're setting our center pipes. Uh, this alley we're doing on six foot centers, and we set our top string, and which it's, it's actually it's sunk down some. Um, you know, but, uh, this is where we're gonna put our top rail. We'll saddle these. Finally, have a bunch of pipe that's not lined, so that's amazing. And yeah, those. Our top post and so we like if you haven't built pins before we do it like that that way we know that they're all in line at the top so we'll plumb them to that line and that way our rails not just all over the place that's why we run that line at the top but um, my I ordered some more materials, but they won't it won't be in my three and eight and half inch pipe won't be in for till the end of this coming week, so after the fourth. So we're kinda shut down on that. We're gonna uh brand again tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be the last day of our you know medium sized pastures. The last last decent group. Maybe there's like forty head. Um, 
down there probably the farthest we're gonna have to move anything so be two three up oh, three or four miles we got to move them just to get them down to a set of pins where we can actually work them uh, there are some pins where they are but they're pretty much worthless and that's another project um, but they're not gonna be like pipe pins they're just gonna be posts and panels and stuff but just giving you a heads up got my hay tarped got to tighten this one down we just put it up um, this is the I only have three of these tarps but that's uh, this stack here we got it done and then we got the other one done so all of our hay is out of the field except for a few broken bales I've got to go bale up a bunch of wheat straw and check some water so we're gonna be kind of busy until we get material in but so anyways that's just kind of how we start on the pins you know we'll we'll set our big post and then we'll set our our little line post and then once we put the top rail on so we'll go through and we'll cut all our line posts put our overheads in and then we'll when we settle the, those line posts, we'll put the top rail in, and then I have a set of hangers that we uh, already built to hang our sucker rod, and we'll just run six on there. And sucker rod's okay. I like it. It's cheap. It's a it's a decent way to do it. Uh, you're either always going to have to constantly be uh, maintaining it with a welder, like because most most all that sucker rod is magnetized and so your welts will just pop like that if they get too much pressure against them and so you either need to be going back and welding them or putting the little clips on and right now like on these pins we're kind of in a hurry so we'll just put them all up and then we go back through and fix the ones that have popped and put clips on it and eventually I'll put clips on all of them probably right before we paint them I'll put clips on all of them so that's the next step uh, we've got to be building gates but that's down the road so you know it's we'll get to it when we get to it and that's a whole different process but yeah so I'll throw this video and all the others together and you can kind of see what July 1st had in store for us. Thanks for watching.